Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we are going to be discussing this coin right here that drops today, April 8th at noon Eastern Standard Time, the last of the five ounce uncirculated America the Beautiful coin, the Tusky Airmen National Historic Site that goes on sale today at noon. My question is, is it going to be a flip? Or is it going to be a flop? And I think for a lot of people, what we're going to take a look at in this video may shock a lot of people, may shock not too many people, but it will probably shock some. Now, I think it's undisputed that a lot of coins that have sold from the United States Mint in 2020 one and also in 2020 but i think in 2021 there's been a lot more coins that have at least appreciated in value for the short term will a lot of these appreciate or hold their uh, appreciation long term don't know but at least short term a lot of coins so far um, you can talk about the gold proof coins the four coin proof set still selling pretty hot still selling for between 52 and 5500 dollars on the secondary market all of the single coins also doing very well the three coin Tatusky Airmen National Historic Site coin set, pretty hot. These went for $11.50 from the United States Mint and is currently selling for roughly 30 bucks on eBay. So not too horrible for three clad quarters. The congratulations set, $75 from the Mint, selling for about 200 bucks on the secondary market and a lot of these were doing really well also for pre-sales before they even went on sale from the United States Mint but what does that mean for the five ounce uncirculated Tatusky Airmen National Historic Site for 2021 we're gonna go take a look at eBay I think the, what we are going to see is going to surprise a lot of people. It may not surprise everybody. It kind of surprised me. Now, I am not a fan of these. I have not bought one single uncirculated five ounce silver coin. I just don't like them. I don't like many of the designs. I'm not a collector of them. They certainly have a high premium. So for something like this, it's one thing if you're a collector of a one ounce coin and you and you want to collect an entire set of a one ounce silver coin. But when you're talking about a five ounce silver coin, now you're talking about, you know, investing a lot of money into a high, higher premium uh, piece of silver now this design is not horrible this design is not bad but i am definitely not in it for this price and if i was to buy this it would have to be because i can make a little bit of money off it because i am just not a collector of this so let's go take a look at ebay and let's see what these have sold so far the pre-sales for these coins all right, so we are looking at the most recent sales for the last of the five ounce America the Beautiful uncirculated coin. And okay, so this one here, not too horrible. It went for $279, but then after the free shipping and after the fees, there's no money to be made. But that's not even what surprised me the most. What surprised me the most is this one right here modern coin mart okay a trusted dealer that's really what you want to buy when you're shopping ebay you don't really want to buy the most from sellers who have just one sold item or you know have a very small feedback you want to go and buy from the most reputable dealers and modern coin mart is one of those reputable dealers right 
2021 Tatuski Airmen National Historic Site 5 ounce silver America the Beautiful coin gem BU sale. So this is even going to come. Is this even going to come in a cat in a uh, slab? Regardless of how this is going to come, it is a hundred and ninety three dollars. That is under the price, below the price of what they are selling it for at the United States Mint. So this is definitely, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion, could things change after they sell out? Absolutely. Could they appreciate after they are sold out? Are they going to sell out of all 20,000? Who knows? Here's another one. Bullion exchanges, five ounce silver, ATB, pre-sale, $198. Once again, it is about 30 bucks, a little bit more than 30 bucks below the price that it is going to be selling for today at the United States Mint. Here's another one, Pinehurst Coins, pre-sale, $191. So this is absolutely looking like a big flop. Now you can say the modern coin mart price is gem BU. So they're already telling you that it's not going to be able to come back as a 69 or a 70. Definitely not a 70 as a gem BU. But you're looking at a bunch of other reputable online dealers that are pre-selling these. And this is telling you what the market is. The market is telling you United States Mint should have never increased their price to $229 because people are not having. Now here, here's Atmex. Even Atmex pre-selling $204. Atmex is the most reputable of all dealers and they can't even get what the United States Mint is selling them for on the open market. So that right there tells me 100% big flop, at least right now. Could things change down the road? Sure, anything collectible, you know, could at any point, the demand could increase. I just don't see it for this coin, but definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because my opinion doesn't matter your opinion does because i'm not buying it you are the you are the possibly the potential buyers for these coins if you're a collector then it may not matter if you're going to be able to make money on it if you're going to lose money on it because chances are you may not be selling it but if you are in it to make money to resell them to try to make a little bit of money on these coins it doesn't look like the potential is there for a flip so in that case it looks like it is a big flop let me know what you guys think in the comment section below appreciate everybody for watching please like comment subscribe and i will talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone